Hi guys, it's Kate. So today I'm going to be showing you some super fun 3D prints. I'm really excited to show and showcase some of these uh, awesome prints that I printed with this Kokoni 3D printer. Thanks to the brand for sending this uh, printer to me to review and test print some of these items. Uh, this is a 3D printer that is meant to be really easy to use. I describe these type of 3D printers as like a plug and play 3D printer. Uh, it's really easy to get started with. It's meant for using with kids uh, and you can make some fun items that I'm going to show you. I definitely think that a 3D printer is the gift that keeps on giving. If your kids are interested in something like a 3D printer for the holidays or for birthdays, um, not only do they get to have fun printing and seeing how 3D printers work, which is a really cool process in itself, but they actually get to create their own toys and their own fun. And so it really is the gift that keeps on giving as they can keep making more and more things. So let's go through some of these prints today and I'm gonna show you some of the cool things that you can make with a 3D printer. So let's start off with this chess piece. Um, I love the design with the open hole here. Um, chess pieces are one of the most fun things that you can print with your 3D printer. They're also great to print with some of these small 3D printers. Um, obviously you can print each piece individually and there's all kinds of themed chess pieces that you can find online. You can find the 3D print files for you know, Harry Potter themed chess pieces or Pokemon themed chess pieces so you can really play to the interests of your kids. Love to have your own custom chess pieces for your chess board and I think that um, 3D printed chess pieces are a super fun item to print. One thing that was cool about this Kokoni printer is that they do have in their app an option to print text. So you can type in whatever text you want. Obviously I chose my name here. And then you have the option to put it either on um, a tag like this for a keychain, or they had a bone shaped one for a dog tag or a pet tag. Um, so they gave a bunch of different options of how you can display your text in a useful fashion. So if you're not wanting to get into um, designing your own 3D prints yet because you want something easy, the app for this printer does make it easy for kids to design their own name tags. So you can see how mine turned out here, which was great. Another really fun thing to print with a 3D printer are these fidget toys. There's all kinds of different fidget toys that are out there to print. And I do have an entire video dedicated to 3D printed fidget toys. Um, my kids love playing with these type of fidgets. Uh, I think they're good for them when they're um, you know, working on their schoolwork to be able to have a fidget toy to help them keep their attention. And of course this one, which is like the Joy-Con fidget, um, really fits with what the kids are interested in. So here was this print. Uh, of course you can also print little toys. So this one is a 3D printed dump truck. Uh, so. This one doesn't have movable wheels, but some of the prints do actually allow you to have movable wheels. This one was print in place. Um, but for younger kids who like cars and figurines, you can print these out and they can play, line them up, move them along tracks. And so I think this is a really fun 3D printed toy that kids will enjoy. Uh, this one here um, was the 3D printed Christmas stocking. There is a whole section in the app on um, different holiday themes. This one I actually printed with on this printer. There's two modes. There's the low quality mode, there's the medium quality mode, and then there's the high precision mode. This one I did with the medium and you can see compared to some of the other prints I've shown that it, the quality isn't as great so definitely I would recommend using the high precision mode for this printer um, if you're printing with it but that would be fun for the Christmas tree right you can add a little um, string to this and so a great idea of what you can print with your 3d printer are little ornaments um, or trinkets that you can hang on your tree uh, these articulated um, animal or um, uh, dinosaur uh, 
prints are awesome. I think it's just so cool that you can print these in place and then they move when you peel them off of the print bed. Um, this one is a cute dog. And then we also have the dinosaur. I love the sound they make when they shake. And this one actually has this hole here so you can make it into a keychain or you could attach it to your child's backpack. Um, so I really love these articulated ones. They print like this in place on the print bed. You peel them off. Might need to shake out the joints a little bit. And then they're really cool. Um, here we've got another sort of fidget type toy with these rotating um, stars. And so again, this is fun to keep little hands occupied. Be a cool little display in a child's room. And again, this prints in place like this, you peel it off and then you can get the pieces to move and create um, this rotating effect here. The last one that I have here, I think is one of the coolest things about this particular printer, which is that in their app, they have this AI avatar modeling. So you actually upload a picture of yourself. I uploaded a picture of one of my sons and it's just a regular headshot picture and you don't need to take it from multiple angles and then it will AI generate um, your own avatar and print out your own um, sculpture of yourself. And so I thought this was so cool. Um, it does look uh, quite a bit like my son and I, I really liked this one. Of course, my son was thrilled when I printed it out. He wants to keep it on his desk. So I definitely think this is a really cool thing about this printer particularly that I think kids will really love. Um, so this printer is obviously a small printer. As you can see, it's um, honestly about the length of my hand here. When I open it up, it does have the door, which is a nice feature when you're looking at a 3D printer for kids because it keeps hands out of the hot area. But again, the print bed is quite small. Um, so this print in particular, like it took up the whole print bed. You really can't go much bigger than anything like this with this printer. Um, so that's obviously a limitation of these smaller 3D printers for kids is that you can only print small toys or trinkets. That being said, if you are short on space, this um, is gonna be a great printer for you. It could go in an office or a playroom or even your living room. It looks good, it's not gonna be too cumbersome and it's really easy to use. Um, so you literally just plug it in, it's all set up, ready to go. You didn't have to do any um, calibration with this printer. And then you go into the app and you can start choosing toys and trinkets to print with. Um, compared to some of uh, the other more standard 3D printers, um, you know, your, these printers tend to work at a faster pace. Um, there tends to be a little bit less of printing quality compared to um, your more standard uh, 3D printers. But I think for kids, um, you know, what they're looking for, just being able to print something out and play with it and show it off, um, it works great. So I do like, I think there's definitely a place for these 3D printers that are kind of meant for kids and families. For people who are not so tech savvy, who are interested in something very easy and simple to use, whose kids want to be able to create something fun, and um, I think that's a great option if that's what you're looking for. So I hope you enjoyed this review of some of these fun uh, 3D prints and don't forget to like and subscribe if you're looking for more 3D printing content. As always, I'm going to include the links to the printer and to the designs in the description.